Well, still to come right here, how new laser technology can wipe away visible reminders of painful injuries, also known as traumatic tattoos. Have you ever scraped your knee and ended up with a stain that won't leave? Here's what you need to know and what you can do about traumatic tattoos. For a long time, I thought it was a bruise. Joanna Kalunga is referring to the bluish blotch on her chin. It started with a fall in a parking lot. I tripped over my own feet in the parking lot and fell flat on my face. Eight months later, the blotch on her chin is still there. Now she has a name for it. Traumatic tattoo. <laughs> it's a tattoo that somebody gets by accident. Her chin grinded in the asphalt, and she got um, some asphalt under her skin, and it has stained the skin. Traumatic tattoos are removed the same way any other tattoo is removed, with a laser that targets the pigment of the stain. When this tri-beam YAG laser sees blue on any surface, even a Red Bull can, it destroys the pigment. After numbing Joanna's chin, Dr. Lee and the laser go to work. Within minutes, the bluish blotch started to whiten. That looks good. By the end of her 30-minute session, I have my face back. And here's how Joanna looks five weeks later. Joining me now with more on traumatic tattoos, dermatologist Sandra Lee from Upland. And doctor, thank you so much for being here today. Um, we heard a little bit about what it means to have a traumatic mm -hmm. tattoo. Explain to us, does the laser really work? Oh, yes. This laser, it's called the Tribeam laser. It's a Q-switch NDYAG uh, laser. And th these actually work very, very well on blue and black tattoos. And they also really work well on uh, brown spots like melasma, um, pigmentation on the face, also other conditions that cause, um, you know, like a brown, brown coloration, like birthmarks and things like that. So it works very well for these things and it's very safe. I would imagine what would make it tricky is to try to get the tattoo, the stain off, but yet to keep the skin around it, you want well, that to stay right. as it was. So. Well, that's what lasers do. That, that's, that's, um, that's just what a laser actually does. They actually target a specific color in the spectrum. So this laser targets black and blue. So just like another laser might target redness, and that, that laser is used to treat blood vessels. So that's why it won't damage the, the rest of the skin. When we talk about professional tattoos, mm -hmm. I've, I've had friends actually who went out and had tattoos mm -hmm. put on their bodies on purpose, and then yes, later yeah. they regretted it and wanted right. it taken off. It's expensive, mm -hmm. it's time consuming, yes. and it's painful. How would you compare the two processes? Uh, the two processes of, of having a tattoo removal versus... Versus this one. Well, this is like a tattoo removal. You can, you can, you, you can remove a regular tattoo too. But in this case, this is sort of an interesting tattoo because it was an accidental. It's because of the forceful penetration of asphalt under her chin. I mean, this happens commonly in motorcycle accidents. If somebody falls off and their, their leg grinds against the road, it can even ha happen with gunpowder. And in that case, we can't use a laser because you can actually have a local explosion if you try to treat it. Okay, similar technology, but because cost, exactly pain level, same. all that. Same kind of thing. But we can numb that because it's a local area. But if you have a big tattoo, you can't numb your whole back, for oh, example. All right, Dr. Sandra Lee, thank you so much for being here today. And I'm going to send it back to Jeff now.